Hello and welcome to Tizzle Teaches. Today I'm going to be showing you three simple poker chip tricks that look really cool and are super easy to learn. Really quick before we get into the video, take a look at these ideas I have for future episodes of Tizzle Teaches and see if any of them look cool to you. If one of them does, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So the max number of chips you're going to need for this is eight chips, but you'll only really be using eight chips once you get these tricks down. So the first trick I'm going to be showing you is this little flip over here. You see a lot of poker players doing it on YouTube or on TV. This is like one of the most common ones and you probably have found other videos. Oops, I did two there relating to this exact trick. Now that's what this is what it looks like fast motion. It takes a little bit of learning to get here. So let's get into that. So the easiest way to learn this is with just two chips and the way that you hold it is like so, you know, just five fingers on it in your dominant hand and you want your pinky, you want all of your fingertips touching both chips. And now what you're going to do is you're going to bring your thumb down to your pinky just about and you're going to roll it off of your pointer finger and around. Now a good way to learn is to hold since the back chip is never going to move, what I like to do when I'm teaching people how to do this is I'll hold that chip still for them, get it in there solid, and then bring in the second chip and pinch it just between your pointer and your thumb and just practice doing this. If you can do this, you can do the trick because the next step is just letting it drop in and then you're, it's just going to take feel to get this motion down. A lot of times you're going to be going with two. That's why I like to just start with two because if you do more, a lot of times you're going to be going with three and you can't find that first one. You're going to really struggle to find that first chip. But I promise you, if you just keep practicing, you'll eventually get the feel down. Now, again, I like to every once in a while get that back chip stuck kind of in between these four fingers. Grab this front one. Give it a little roll. Just practice that rolling it up. That's if you can't do it. But eventually, you know, I, I just trial and error. Eventually you will get it down. It's just going to take some practice. And once you get it down with two, of course, you can get it down with three. And I mean, I don't know if I've ever tried it. Here's it with eight. Also, I just want to quick point out, I'm doing these tricks on a mouse pad because if you drop a chip on a table, it's super loud. But if you drop it on a mouse pad, it's nice and quiet and you don't want to annoy anybody while you're trying to get these down. So the next trick is actually my favorite and it looks like this. Now it looks pretty hard and I can't get it every time still, but it's still one of my favorites. So just like the other, you're going to hold it the exact same way as you did for the first one. And again, you're going to want to get this motion down before you use this one. But once you have this down, you're going to come down with the same, same kind of idea as the, the rollover. But this time you're just going to pinch your two fingers together and get both the front and the back and then flip that bottom chip with your middle finger and then just put it back into place. So I'll do it slow one more time. Bring these two up, flip it, and put it back in. It looks pretty difficult, but I promise you, once you get this one down, it's not that bad. These both, learning both of these took me right about two weeks, and I think you can the same. Honestly, probably even quicker if you really put your mind to it. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is called the chip shuffle, and this one looks the hardest, but it was actually the easiest to learn. Now I'm going to show this to you in a few different angles. Uh, I'm still trying to get good at it. Uh, I only learned it this week, so I've been practicing a lot, but I've still got a lot more to go. Um, but I'm going to show you a few different angles uh, to hopefully make it a little bit easier for you. Uh, here we go. So this is definitely a better angle to see what's going on. Now, I don't think I can do this one slow motion. I can try. I, I mean, there you kind of go. It's a, it's a very feel trick. Now, what I would recommend is starting with just four chips, two on each side like this. And all you're going to be doing is pushing them together. They're going to lift up, fall into place, and then push them together. Uh, to do that with one hand though, you're going to grab two with your pointer and thumb and the other two with your ring finger and your pinky. And you're going to push them together, put a little bit of pressure. Uh, doesn't need to be super hard or anything. And then your middle finger is going to come up right in between and just kind of lift them up just enough so they can get into place. As you can see here, I accidentally did two. So that this is going to happen a lot. And I honestly, you can just square it up, feel what that feels like. But to get them to fall into place, it just takes practice and feel just like that. And then once you get this down and look, I messed up again, it's going to take a lot of practice. And as I said before, I'm new to this, but 
once you get it down, you can go with, there's four on each side. You can go with three on each side, and then you start to get the feel down a little better. Practice with three, and then finally two first, then three, and then finally you can go with four. And I mean, I saw a video of some guy doing it with like stacks of like six chips. And I mean, if you got hands big enough to do that, then go ahead. But yeah, that's all you're gonna be doing for this one. Now these tricks are simple, but they're gonna take a lot of practice to learn. It took me a few weeks to get them down where I was really getting them through, but there was a lot of tries where I was just dropping the chips all together or knocking the stacks over. It's gonna take time, but I promise you, if you keep practicing, you will get it down. This has been Tizzle Teaches. I'll see you next time.